Cryptoacanthomas arise from the hair follicle in fundibulum. This is the part of the hair follicle that meets the skin, the top of the hair follicle. I would say they are generally considered to be benign lesions, but opinions do vary and some consider them to be low-grade squamous cell carcinomas. And the differential diagnosis is obviously squamous cell carcinoma. The diagnosis can be very difficult with suboptimal histopathology, so diagnosis is best made by a combination of history, clinical features and adequate histopathology. Keratoacanthomas arise on sun-exposed sites in 95% of cases. They affect usually the elderly and males approximately twice as frequently as females. They also tend to affect fair-skinned people. Immunocompromised patients are at greater risk of developing keratoacanthomas and these lesions are associated with a number of syndromes, one being Torres syndrome. Clinically, keratoacanthomas have a rapid growth in weeks or months and then they spontaneously regress in four to six weeks. Occasionally, keratoacanthomas can arise in the subungual region that is under the nails. Grossly, keratoacanthomas are symmetrical lesions one to two centimeters across and they are dome shaped. They have an exophytic and endophytic growth pattern. The center of the lesion is usually a keratin filled crater with overhanging edges and the tumour and epidermis are well demarcated. Other features include small keratin filled cavities, microabscesses and at the base of the lesion there is often a lymphocytic and eosinophilic infiltrate. On higher power other features can be appreciated such as the keratinocytes with glassy eosinophilic cytoplasm, nuclei may be pleomorphic and mitotically active or they may be quite bland. And another feature is the presence of apoptotic keratinocytes. This is a low power view of a typical keratoacanthoma. It is symmetrical, dome shaped and has both exophytic and endophytic growth patterns. This is another keratoacanthoma and here is the keratin filled crater. With overhanging edges. And the base of the lesion here is well demarcated. This is the dermis at the base of a keratoacanthoma. It contains a dense infiltrate of lymphocytes and eosinophil polymorphs. On higher power you can see that some of the keratinocytes have abundant glassy cytoplasm. Here is another feature of keratoacanthomas and that is the keratin and parakeratin filled cavities. And this area shows a microabscess. And finally, here is an apoptotic keratinocyte. Apoptosis is a form of programmed single cell death.